Good afternoon, everyone. I'm joined by Port Vale manager Neil Aspin. Neil, that was the result you were looking for. Yeah, we we needed the result. There's no question about that. And um, I thought the performance was good today because I feel that Northampton, um, they're a better team than their league position would suggest. And they've got some good players, so I knew we'd have to play well to beat them today. You've said during the week you can't fault the players' efforts and commitment, and they sh certainly showed that out there for you today. You know, I think um, everybody looks for, for reasons if you're not doing doing well or if you're not winning games, but the players have always been good good to you know to work with, and I've always said I feel they want to do well. Um, they've had some poor decisions against them this season, which they've had to sort of you know contend with. But uh, today they got what they deserved, and I'm really pleased for them. Could you sense that type of performance and result was coming on the back of the last two Newport here, unfortunate to lose, and, and a really good point at Forest Green last week. I think um, yeah, the Newport performance at home. Was a good performance, but we didn't get the get the result. But it it, enc it it encouraged me for the next game. And then at Forest Green, again, they're a difficult opponent, um, and I thought we played well last week. So we knew that if we could play at our best today, then we could get the result. But like I say, I wouldn't um, underestimate Northampton because I th I think on their day they could could beat any team in the league. Just talking about the match now, Ben Whitfield starting again. Brilliant goal, and then Manny Oyeleke, he's, he's given us a hard time giving who scored the best goal today. Two terrific goals from the pair of them. Well, it's, you know, I think with um, Ben, um, he's just delighted to be back. So, and his attitude since he come, came back has been excellent, and that's all I've ever wanted from him. Um, I thought he did well last week, he deserved to start today. And obviously, with Manny, he's a player that I signed, I felt that he could, you know improve the midfield and do well but we've never been able to, to keep him on the pitch but he's played last week and now today he'll do his confidence a world of good because not just the goal but I thought his all-round performance was very good and um, I think everybody can see today you know why I sign him. The team news came round at two o'clock and a lot, of the a lot of the fans were complimenting that team lineup today. Is that near to your best start in 11 that you put out there today? Well, I, d I don't think I can. <laughs> I don't think I can pick a team that keeps the fans happy every week, because uh, there'll always be people who, who criticise re regardless of what you do. Um, all I've said is I'd like to have everybody fit, and then it gives me options to pick the team. Um, the more options I have, then I'm, I'm happy to have fair selection headaches because because that's what I want. You've always said you want to take the pressure off Tom Pope scoring goals and there's a, a few players now chipping in with them. They had a tough afternoon, Tom Pope and Ricky Miller up front. It was quite a physical battle up there. Well, I know we're all biased, I think, uh, at times, but um, Tom Pope just does not get any protection, <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, from the referees. Uh, yes, he, he battles for things and sometimes he fouls, but he gets fouled a lot himself and never gets any free kicks. I just don't understand why not. Uh, and then you can see... Uh, uh, somebody hardly touched somebody and then the ref gives a free kick uh, there's like there's one rule one rule for Tom Pope and and a different rule for everybody else but uh, you know today he's up against two centre halves and obviously they've got Crooks in midfield who's six foot five in front of him so he's always going to be battling but you know but he, he works his socks off and um, like I say he, he always does a good job for and, that's, and that's the thing with Tom Pope he, he has these physical battles uh, at times he'll throw his arms up in the air discuss that he's not getting the decisions but that's his character he just keeps going doesn't he after these decisions well he's Tom's old school and uh, you know it's a dying breed isn't it I think um, but I'm, I'm happy to have him here um, he's done a great job for me since I've been manager and um, you know he's a, he's a focal point for the team I think we we criticise or get criticised sometimes in the past that we've gone you know, long to him too often. I don't think. To, I think over the last few games we've mixed our play up, and, and that's what you have to do. And that's all I've ever wanted is, at times you've got to hit him because he's effective from crosses and obviously diagonal balls into him. But to do that all the game is no good either. You've got to mix your play up, and, and I thought we did that today. And this type of result sets you up perfectly next week for a big game away to Crew Alexandra, where two and a half thousand fa fans will be in that away end. I think a local derby. Uh, they're always important games. It's nice to have a result going into it, but they're always different. I mean, it, it's a different game altogether. And you know that the atmosphere is going to be a good atmosphere next week. And I always think players have got to roll up the, the roll up the sleeves. They've got to handle 
the occasions when the derbies. But the main thing is that um, they go and they give 100% because they've got a lot of fans there and that's what they'll be demanding next week. Well, congratulations on the result and that's all we have time for today here at Vale Park. We'll be at Gresty Row next week for the A500 derby against Crew Alexandra.